happy Sunday, everybody. I hope that wherever you are and whatever you are doing, you are having an amazing weekend. I am walking towards my pump house in my, on my property because today's Sunday musing is all about water. Now, I know that many people living in the Northern Hemisphere this year have experienced some pretty nasty drought. I mean, you only have to look behind me to see how bad the lack of water has become. Now, over here, this bit's been watered because that's where some of my vegetables are. Over here has not been watered and you can see how terrible the lawn looks. And if you watch the Sunday gardening update, you'll see that we are thinking about converting some of our, our garden to lawn alternatives just to help the ground stay, stay healthier, to help the, the biosphere be better and, and everything else. But that is not really the focus of today's video. The focus of today's video is how are you conserving water? Now, our property is, is off grid, pretty much, uh, in terms of water. We have a pump house. This is the pump house here. It's very messy and, and a bit disgusting, but that's where the water tank for our house comes. We have a well, the water comes up, it gets pumped all the way back to the house. But as the water table starts to drop, the amount of water that we have is starting to get smaller and smaller. And if you live in a large city, I'm sure that your local municipality has been asking you to conserve water too. And so today I want to know how you are going about conserving water. If you live in an area where there has been a significant drought, how do you go about making sure that you don't use excess water? Maybe you've changed your toilet system so that your cistern now has a short flush and a long flush. Maybe you've decided as a family that you're only gonna flush the, the toilet when there's a number two instead of a number one. Maybe you are not using your dishwasher in the same way. Maybe you have upgraded your appliances, your washing machine, your dishwasher to use more water, uh, sorry, less water than they used to. Maybe you're investing in a gray water system. It's something we've actually been considering very hard this summer. Do we install water tanks at the side of the house to capture water during winter months and during, during the fall, winter and spring so that during the summer months when we traditionally don't get a lot of rain, we can actually keep our garden healthy. We can water our plants and we have water that we can use for non-potable purposes in order to keep everything a little bit healthier and, and lush. I would love to know how you are tackling things like cleaning your car. Maybe you've decided that you're not gonna clean your car. Or maybe like me, you've gone for a ceramic coating on your vehicle and instead of using traditional car wash methods, you're trying to use as little water as possible by using a ceramic coating because ceramic coating makes it easier to clean your car and because of the process of cleaning with a car that has had a ceramic coat, you don't actually use as much water to get it sparkly clean as you would if you were having to effectively wash the car harder without a ceramic coat. So maybe that's how you're doing it. Maybe your local municipality has gone, you know what, we are not going to, uh, we are not going to use uh, we're not going to allow you to use as much water. Maybe you are in a restricted area. What's it like living in an area where the water is restricted? I would love you to share your experiences below because I think that really is going to help a whole load of people figure out what the future is going to look like. Because I don't think that, that, that droughts are, are something that are going to disappear anytime soon. I think they're around for a long time to come. I also know that we've had incredible floods in parts of the world this summer um, caused by torrential rain caused by massive storms of course we're gonna have more massive storms because as the planet heats and we get higher temperatures on average there are greater temperature differentials between the hot and the cold weather systems and that increases the amount of energy that is stored in the clouds increases the amount of moisture that can be held and then of course we have those massive, massive thunderstorms. We have those massive, massive rainstorms. And I think that also means we're gonna have more storm, we're gonna need more storm drain 
um, protection, we're also going to need more resilience for when we have those massive storms. So let me know how you are dealing with using less water to try and conserve water. Are you also doing things like only buying uh, products that you know use less water? So for example, owning washed jeans uses is responsible for much more water in the production of washed jeans than unwashed jeans. Are you are you changing how you are the food you're ordering? So some food stuffs require more water than others. And of course, there's also the whole the whole concept of if we if we eat less meat, then that also helps reduce the amount of water that we use because raising animals uses a lot of water. Uh, not so much my chickens, they kind of consume very little water, but if we have large amounts of, of animals that we're raising for meat, that uses a lot of water. Maybe we should be eating less meat. Leave your thoughts in the comments below. I would love to hear what they are. And uh, we will be back next week as usual with another Sunday meeting. I say that, but of course, we are gonna be on the road next week to fully charge live or it will be fully charged live next weekend. So there'll be a slightly different Sunday musing next week for you all to enjoy. That is it for today's video. If you liked it, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends. And don't forget to leave your thoughts below or in our free to join Discord chat room. There are links in the video description. And if you really like today's video, why not leave us a super thanks? It is easy to do. And everything you do send goes towards helping us make awesome content. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to this channel and our main channel, Transport Evolved, and give the bell a gentle ding to be told when our next video goes live. There are so many cars going past today. Thanks on behalf of the entire crew, go out to everyone who makes this channel possible. That includes everyone who supports us on Patreon and YouTube, as well as those of you who just watch the video and share it. If you are a supporter at the Charged Up level, you should see your name right here on my right. If it's not there, don't worry. We have been so busy getting ready for Fully Charged Live and filming all the car reviews that we haven't been able to render out a new one for a couple of weeks. That does not mean we don't appreciate your support because we do. Thanks to our self-driving tier supporters, Chris Maxwell, Pedro Mio Pinheiro, Patrick Boyarski, Bennett Elder, Brian Newton, Dave Kitchen, Michael Goad, Ricky Leon, Andrew Martin, Gita Drahota, Brophy Wolf, Tesla in the Gong, Gordon C, Stephen O'Donoghue, Carl Hodgson, Anthony Coates, Ray Jean Fellows, Dan Blair, Jim Burness, Chris Asentar, Chris and Michael Johnson, Peter Dillinger and Denny Hyde. And of course, out of this world thanks to our Starman level supporters, Anonymous Freak, Marcel Ward, Reggie Watts, Rory Litwin, Joe Bresney, Reed R, JP Fagerback, Russ, Will Graylin, Matthew Drobnak, Kevin Burrow, Bridge, John Lyons, Andrew Glenn, Paul Conway, Laura Reynolds, and of course, Ian. If you would like to be part of that amazing list, you can join Patreon at the link below. Hit the join button to support us on YouTube, and you can do that on Take Two now as well. Or you can show us your support through Bitcoin, Kofi, or by buying something from our cool swag store, like this t shirt that I'm wearing right now. And of course, if you are at Fully Charged Live next weekend, big truck going past you get to buy one of our brand new exclusive t-shirts that we're producing just for Fully Charged Live. Thanks for joining me. I will see you soon. And as always, keep evolving.